The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has arraigned Nano Miracle, the son of former governor of Plateau State, Joshua Darii, on a six-count charge of money laundering to the tune of N1. Miracle was arraigned before Justice Igeoma Ajukwu of the Federal High Court, Abuja alongside Apartment Leparatus Hotel where he was a director. According to a statement by the EFCC, the defendant failed to report a cash transaction to the tune of N1. 5 billion which he received through the hotel's account in one of the old generation banks. The amount is above the threshold of the N10 million permissible by law. Additionally, the hotel was also not registered with the designated non-financial institution, DNFI. According to the statement, the offense is in contravention of Section 51A of the Money Laundering Prohibition Act, 2011 as amended and punishable under Section 5, B, of the same Act. We learnt that the defendant pleaded not guilty to the charge when they were read to him while counsel to the EFCC, George Ebola, asked the court to fix a date for trial and for the miracle to be remanded in prison custody. However, Miracle's counsel, Charles Abalaka, pleaded that he was yet to file application for bail as he was served with the charge late on Monday, February 26. He further urged the court to admit his client to bail, while presenting two sureties, Amanda Yuzuth, a grade level 12 civil servant working with Defense Ministry and one Rose, a grade level 13 officer working with Office of Head of Service. Pose, in Abuja. The statement said Justice Ajuk Wu admitted the defendant to bail in the sum of N5 million with two sureties like some N who must be resident of Abuja and must provide tax evidences for 2015, 2016 and 2017. The defendant is also to submit his international passport and certificate of occupancy as the judge adjourned the case to April 10 to 12, 2018 for commencement of trial. The defendant is to be remanded in EFCC custody pending the fulfillment of the bail conditions, the judge added. We earlier reported that the Socio-Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, recently urged the federal government to recover the more than end 40 billion so far received by ex-governors currently serving as senators and ministers. A statement by executive director of SERAP, Adetakan Bo Mumuni, on Sunday, July 16, said the politicians were already enjoying pensions and other privileges and ought not to receive further emoluments from the federal government.